So guys, I am back with another Lords of the Fallen video and today guys we have a brand new update, a patch of version 1.1.362. This is on Xbox, the PS5 as well as PC. Today we're getting to all the patch notes. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so let's get into it. And they state, Greetings, lamp bearers. We trust by now that you have been fully indoctrinated by the Way of the Bucket, released last week. This is the latest of a series of new quest lines arriving to Monstead before end of year. And believe you me, there's plenty more to come. As hinted at by a content roadmap, which you haven't seen, guys, I'll put this on screen now. Today's update sees us return to a more traditional cadence of weekly tweaks and enhancements with highlights including AI adjustments to make some enemy actions more consistent and predictable so that you can better read uh, and subsequently react to their movements for a more satisfying combat experience. Further refinements to ping and matchmaking for improved co-op sessions, significant performance optimizations across several areas and the game, and expect more of the same in next week's update, before we start ramping things up for the festive season. And with that, onto the patch notes. Okay, so we're going to start with multiplayer. Adjusted uh, matchmaking to be more flexible with ping requirements to allow for broader and quicker results, fixed an issue where an invading player could get blocked by praying enemies in Path of Devotions Memorial, fixing an issue that could occur uh, when spectating the host in the Pieta boss encounter. Okay, so on to performance. Path to reduce the number of actors casting shadows, small objects and minor details near Shuja Hamlet. No loss in quality. Path to reduce the number of actors casting shadows, uh, again small objects and minor details in the castle of Faith of the Chill Curse. No loss again in quality. This again has been done in Pilgrim's Perch, it's also been done in the Sanctuary of Baptism, as well as a few other places you see on screen now. Okay, so what about camera? Tweak the lantern's camera behavior to be smoother and less disruptive in combat. Fixed in a camera issue that could cause unintended behaviors with falling enemies that were locked on. Okay, so now onto AI. Fixed an issue with Holy Bulwark that could teleport back and fully heal when luring him away too far. Tweak the marksman's behavior to shoot one bolt per reload and improved his rotation rate slightly. Uh, tweak the trapper's mortar rate of fire to behave more consistently and to prevent stun locking the player. Fix an issue where enemies could get stuck while rotating in place in rare circumstances. Fix an issue that prevented Womb of Despair to spawn when striking the corresponding statues in Forsaken Fen. Okay, so now on to level design. Fix an issue that allowed players to emerge from Umbral Dune combat near Andreas of Ebb. Added an umbral jewel round fence in the balcony area in Bramis Castle. Repositioned an event trigger to prevent players from uh, skipping the tower near the optional boss encounter with the Light Reaper. Added an umbral jewel round fence in Sunless Skin. Added the torch to highlight a new gate in Sunless Skin. On screen now, guys, you can see adjustments to collisions, which you're seeing on screen now. If you want to uh, read these, pause the video, be my guest. Then onto visual and then onto UI. But there we have it guys, those are the patch notes for the latest update for Lords of the Fallen update patch version 1.1.362, the 30th of November, this is available on PlayStation, Xbox and PC. And there we have it guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out, if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.